Something I'm often asked, but rarely feel like I have a great answer for, is the question of how I make apps. This video is my attempt to try and show that process. The reason it's a difficult question to answer is that it's a process that involves a lot of parts. There's a lot of things that go into making an application. There's the idea, there's the design, there's the actual implementation, there's the submission to the app store. In some ways there's testing, there's all kinds of things that go into it. And it's something that I've done many times now. I've developed many, many apps um, over the last seven years. And so it's something that I can do fairly quickly and a lot of things are just sort of come naturally and aren't things that I think about a lot. And so sometimes it's a hard question. But this last week, um, I had an opportunity uh, to make an app and to make an app fairly quickly. And so I thought it would be an interesting process to sit down and show from start to finish how I come up with an application and submit it to the App Store, all the way from how I got the idea to when it's submitted to Apple for review. Um, that's this video, and hopefully you enjoy it. So the whole thing started when I read that the Maps app could give you different patterns of taps on your wrist to tell you how to go when it's giving directions. And that sounded like something that I thought was pretty cool. And so I open up the Maps app and I'm like, okay, how, would I, how can I get this to work? I want to get directions to somewhere. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm going to search. Okay, and I can take dictation or there's some places that I've recently searched for. But what if it's just somewhere that I go to a lot. What if I say, like, I want to go home? How would I do that? Uh, I would imagine there's some way to kind of store a place, like maybe a favorite. And I vaguely remember seeing in the documentation somewhere that you can add favorites, but I don't see it here. And if I force touch, I don't get anything. Hmm. So with a lot of this stuff, I feel like I have to do it in the iPhone app. And so that's what I tried. Try and see if I can add a favorite. So. Say I'm planning about WWDC, and so I'm looking at this hotel. Uh, I'm going to make this one of my favorites. Hmm. How do I do that? Scroll down. Maybe it's at the bottom here. Create new, a new contact, add existing, record a problem. Well, I do have a problem. I don't know how to add favorites, and I'm a pretty smart guy. Like, when I come up here and search, it says there's favorites, but all I can do is look at a list. Like, there's nothing here. So I go off to Google and I start typing. And it turns out, you can add favorites. And in the iPhone app, you do that once you have this card. You click on the place, and then interestingly, you hit the share button. And then, you can add as a favorite. Okay, so now, the Park 55 is a favorite for me. Come back over to my watch, come over here, and take a look. Oh, favorites. Okay, favorites, Park 55. And we'll load it. And I want to get directions, directions, there we go. Okay, driving directions. All right, start, it's a long way for me to San Francisco. Um, but anyway, that works. But that took forever, and I think I could do better. And that is the idea. And honestly, that more often than not, that is how I get an idea. I run into something, in my day-to-day -day life, something that kind of feels awkward, something that feels like there's too much tension, there's too much friction, something isn't quite right. And I see that as an opportunity as an app maker. I see it as something that I can probably do better and I can make an application to solve that particular problem. In this case, I see that it's really awkward to get directions to places that you frequently go to in the Maps app on your watch. And the watch is all about quick interactions. What I want is the ability to Tap, tap, open an app, hit a button, and get directions to go right there. I want it to be two or three taps at most to go to the places that I frequently go to. And so I thought I could build that app. And it turns out I could. As I'm about to show you, I sat down at my desk, and in about six and a half hours, I made that application.
And here's the result, a ridiculously simple application that does one thing and hopefully does it very well. It's an app that you just hit plus, say where you want to go, and now it'll navigate you to it. And more importantly, on your watch. You just open the app, hit Park 55, and when you get driving directions, and you're off and going. It's that easy. It's three taps and you've got it. And that's an app from start to finish. And the app's available in the App Store if you want to give it a try.